Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on unit conversions. This is the third video on this topic and we'll look at length, area and volume conversions in this video. So we'll start off then with length. So imagine a line with one meter length. So we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Simple enough, and that's a pretty basic conversion. And what about if we have a square? So the square now is one meter by one meter. Uh, so what about the area? So first one was length, the second one is area, so one meter squared. Well, that's not equal to 100 centimeters squared because we've got 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters. Uh, so uh, what we actually have is 100 times 100, which is 10,000 centimeters squared. And then again, if we extend this to a cube, so now we have a cube. Sorry, let me just redraw that one side. This cube is one meter by one meter by one meter. So the volume this time is one meter cubed. Uh, but this time it's not uh, 100 centimeters cubed or even 10,000 centimeters cubed. It's 100 times 100 times 100. In other words, it's 1 million centimeters squared or uh, centimeters cubed rather. So this is just something that you need to be aware of when you're converting between length, area and volume. Uh, we'll do another example just to illustrate the point. Uh, so let's look at centimetres. So one centimetre uh, and we'll convert between centimetres and millimetres. So one centimetre is 10 millimetres. Uh, but what about one centimetre squared? So that's one centimetre by one centimetre. Well that's 10 millimetres times 10 millimetres which is 100 millimetres. So the millimetres squared is the units. And then one centimeter cubed will be 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand millimeters cubed. Now unit conversions is a skill that definitely takes some practice, but we've made it easy for you. So you can take our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a practice with and you get instant feedback. So you'll find out which areas you need to improve on, where your weakest at, and so on. Uh, so if you're interested, then click the link below. You can take the test today.